cities can create their own distinct weather. Because most of their surface is covered with impermeable materials, cities are not only warmer, they're also drier. Higher surface temperatures with fewer plants and less soil mean less water absorption. That means urban centers create their own convergence zones, boundaries where approaching weather meets rising temperatures and a drier region. Often that hot, dry air is like a wall, forcing storms to break up around the city. But not always. So this particular storm, as it started coming in, it did not break up. It went on becoming much more intense and violent, and as it got the convergence and the heating from the surface, it created a system which caused a tornado over the region. But why did Atlanta's heat island intensify the storm into a tornado that night, rather than break it up as usual? To answer this, scientists first need to understand more about how tornadoes form. But twisters don't give up their secrets easily. Observers who get too close can pay with their lives. At Texas Tech's Vortec, researchers found a unique solution to studying tornadoes up close. Make them with giant fans that suck up 160,000 cubic feet of air per minute. And then watch from below at the very moment the tornado takes shape. This is Vortec, this is our tornado simulator. The, the structure is about 23 feet high. It's about 33 feet in diameter. We have eight fans at the top. The speed's about 20 meters per second, which is roughly 40 miles per hour. The tornado simulator provides a, a representation of the tornado structure uh, near the surface, especially where, where we really care about it, because that's where it's impacting men's uh, build environment. Pressure sensors inside scale model buildings record how winds change across structures. The Vortec can simulate over one-third the speed of an EF2 tornado, like the one that hit Atlanta. While this giant machine helps scientists study Vortec's formation up close, it can't simulate a tornado's initiating conditions from a thunderstorm. There are a lot of theories out there for uh, what causes tornadoes to form. Uh, one that we're testing out is uh, whether temperature changes can contribute to the spin of the tornado. We've all experienced uh, this principle, if it's really cold outside, for instance, and, and you're in your nice toasty house, and you go to the window and you open up the window, the cold air rushes in, right? Uh, the problem is, is that we don't have a good feel for what storms will and what storms will not produce the tornadoes. But in Atlanta, one factor may have been the key to transforming a violent thunderstorm into a deadly tornado. Sunset. An urban heat island is more powerful in the early evening. That's because at sunset, cities radiate the heat they trap during the day. Evening city heat rises faster than in the cooler surrounding rural area. So cities at night can be a storm energizer pushing cycling storm winds up quickly, creating a perfect storm. 